Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network, and welcome to another Monday morning mail call. Uh, it's another Monday morning, isn't uh, isn't that amazing? It's a week, two weeks went by since our last video, I believe. Uh, but some stuff has come in, as you can see behind me. More boxes always arrive. They just keep coming. Uh, yeah, uh, I did get quite a few samples uh, prepped for video, so you should see uh, quite a few uh, items coming out this week on the channel, as well as up on the websites. Um, the Chaffee's one of them, uh, the French, uh, the French, what did I see that said French? Nothing French. Uh, the Tamiya a Horsch, uh, 48 scale, uh, the, the little funky, uh, Hasegawa robot guys, um, and we've got another, uh, oh, the, uh, plus model Fordson tractor and big also should be coming out this week in terms of unboxings, but, um, that's not what we're here to talk about. Or we're here to we're here to unbox the new stuff that's come in, and uh, right on the top, I've got a box from Mini Art in the Ukraine, and their new offices in Kiev. Which I hope they're getting all settled in. For those of you unaware, they actually had to move their offices from uh, Crimea to uh, Kiev. So, yeah, um, that was one of those scenarios where the world news was actually. Affecting the model indus modeling industry. But, um, I don't know how many people knew that, but it is true. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. I'll uh, endeavor to get in this box. It's being stubborn. Stubborn box. I think this opens. Maybe, the, maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree here. I'm just going to pop this right here. Okay. Now with the art. They actually send me this stuff as it's sent to the distributors, so I get this. But the boxes are in here, so we'll, we'll look at the boxes. But uh, yes, lots of lots of plastic. Uh, more plastic. More plastic. Okay. Uh, so what's in this box? This one is the, as we expect, the U.S. Armored Bulldozer the box. Actually, is all flattened. This is actually the way, um, for some companies overseas, this is the way, um, if you guys didn't know how this worked, this is the way they, the manufacturer sends it to the distributor, and then the distributor, because it will be smaller, you know, you can, they can fit more in a container, but the distributor then puts all the boxes together, and shrink wraps it all, does all that stuff. That's one of the reasons that we had distributors uh, back in the old days, and even still today, is because they do all that kind of retail prep work. Uh, that the manufacturer doesn't want to have to mess with. Now, some manufacturers do probably box their kits and send them to the distributors all fully boxed. Um, I don't think Dragon. I don't. I don't know. I, I guess they, Dragon could send them this way, but it, for, for example, like Dragon and Trumpeter. Right? Well, I don't even know if Trumpeter sends them that way. It's possible Trumpeter doesn't send them sends them compressed like this too. Uh, you, until you sneak in. Actually, quick story. Quick, we're getting derailed here, but quick story. Uh, many years ago, about uh, 10 years ago, I was at the, uh, the Dragon facility down uh, in uh, Southern California. And we were visiting them. They, um, they have a warehouse down there, Dragon USA. And uh, they invited us in very nice. They took us to lunch, very nice. Um, but the one thing we couldn't do <laughs> was walk around the warehouse. They, they, they didn't trust us. I think they thought maybe if we saw some new thing or whatever that we weren't supposed to see, uh, that we would report on it. We, we wouldn't have done that, of course, but, uh, but yeah, it was kind of interesting. Anyway, so the U U.S. Armored Bulldozer 1 through U.S. scale, I did, I did actually cover that right there. Uh, that's a pretty big kit, a release. Uh, more catalogs. I guess the season for catalogs. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. This is the, man this is the manual. Wow. It's all color. It's like a, it looks like a catalog. But this is the manual for the, uh, the bulldozer. Uh, then we have the, um, the U.S. Motorcycle... Um, WLA, I'm going to get the layer off there, with Rifleman. That's an interesting, uh, interesting kit there. I, wonder if he's actually, I assume he's actually prone like that. Then we have the T-70 Soviet light tank. Again, trying to get the sand's glare. Uh, I believe that tank's actually in War Thunder, isn't it? I believe it is. Um, the passenger bus Gaz 0330. Hmm. There we go. And um, these are all 135 scale, of course. And, and that's it. Those are all boxes. So that's what we knew we've got in from Mini Arch. And those are all brand new kits. Fresh off the, 
the air transport plane, I think. So yeah, that's and that's the way kits come over usually. Like when so when the distributor orders them, they come over by ship via container. So that's why, for example, these kits probably I'm getting these maybe before you're even seeing them in a distributor here in the United States or at least they're probably at the same time. They're probably shipping them out close to the same time. Hopefully, if you guys are you guys on the manufacturing end, you're doing this right, you're shipping them out at the same time. Now, <clears throat> this box is from TACOM, and they were nice enough to send me some samples, but these are not new samples. These are samples that they've had out for a while. Um, so nothing, nothing probably super new you're going to see in here, uh, other than maybe if you haven't been paying attention to new TACOM releases. We are getting a box of new TACOM kits, though, that's coming in uh, soon. They actually sent me an email saying they're sending those out um, at the same time as release, I guess. So, and, then, and they're mostly new World War I variants of the, you know, the, of the, the various Mark British tanks. All right, so I actually opened this up already because I wanted to be sure that they weren't already, when they sent me the email about the new kits, I was like, I don't even know what's in this box. So I had to open up the box and look at it. But um, unfortunately, I got a, an explosion of, of styrofoam here. They sent this thing completely wrapped in uh, plastic tape and in styrofoam. I mean, it's this thing could have floated around in the ocean, literally. It could have. All right, so we've got the new Zwilling gun, the 12.8 centimeter flak Zwilling. Very nice. This thing would have been able to kill a lot of tanks at range too, man. 128 millimeter, probably with the right shells, anyways. All right, uh, next. This this one came out a while ago, but I didn't, I let them know that we didn't have it, so they did send it to us. That was nice of them. The the KV5, so definitely we'll have these up for probably like blogs. Um, uh, if enough people on YouTube ask me for unboxings, I can do unboxings on these. It's just they've been out for a while now, so I don't want to I want to primarily focus my attention on new kits, obviously. But we will make them available. Now these are new, these are all pretty much just came out. The Chieftains, I'm, I'm gonna have to bring my vacuum cleaner in, oh my goodness, all the styrofoam. Um, the, this is the Chieftain Mark 10. Uh, these are all 135th scale, obviously. And uh, poor Darren, he just bought some of these, so, sorry Darren. <laughs> uh, I would have I sent him one. Not all three. Just would have sent him one. <laughs> all right, he bought all three actually. I think so. Uh, the man likes chieftains. All right, so this is the chieftain Mark Five slash Five P. Glare away. And uh, again, this just came out. These all say color and profiles provided by ammo by Mig. Mig's working closely with them. It works closely with everybody. I don't know where the button man finds all the time. Just, you know, building stuff, recreating your recreating your, your modeling company empire twice now. <laughs> D14 Armada. That was uh, also uh, kind of recently out. It's not that, that long ago this came out, but it's been out a little while. Russian main battle tank. This, this one has an interesting uh, story on it, I'm sure. Um, another chieftain. This one's the, uh, it looks like it's snowing in here. Uh, a chieftain Mark 11. That would look nice. I like the barrel going all the way up there. That's, that's a, that's a nice uh, box cover there. And lastly, a couple of smaller kits by them. The Mark A Whippet. With it good. Do, 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 do. If you don't know that, it's Devo. It's from the 80s. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. And then the last one we have is the Skoda PA2 Turtle. There we go. Cute little car, little machine gun, fast runner. Uh, World War One, I, I think, right? Or was it kind of between wars? Was this like a? This might have been like a 30s car, I think. I'm not really, not really sure on the history of that one. So yeah, this this box though. I mean, look at this thing. It's all styrofoam on the inside. They 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 really they know how to pack stuff. And it looks like they actually made this box out of. It's not even a box. It's not even cardboard. They just they insulated it via with um, with styrofoam, and the box is for something in Russian. Automo. Oh, it's for like um. 
kind of like a sat nav car control thing. I'll try to move the camera up there, but you can see it's like a sat nav thingy control thingy. Uh, well, you can't see it too well, but yeah, it says it says SD MMC DVD video remote control uh, USB. It's funny how many things you can read, even though I don't read Russian, I can tell what they are. But yeah, obviously they uh, yeah. Okay, well, you guys like my shirt today? This is a. I will give points to whoever can figure this out, because not many people who see this shirt can figure it out actually. But it, it is it's quite popular mashup of, of two things. So there you go. All right. Um, what else do we want to talk about today? Uh, anything else? In it? I don't think. No. 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 We're good. Uh, upcoming, besides the items that I uh, mentioned, uh, I'm going to try to get this, finally get this Trumpeter Maj kit out uh, in an unbox. It's a kind of a cool 172nd scale seaplane. Um, I'll probably try to get the, some of these Trumpeter kits, maybe the, well, I'll try to do this one, the Soviet, the Soviet self-propelled gun. I'll try to get that out this week. Um, Trumpeter kits, um, the, the Tacon kits, I'm sorry, Tacon kits, I'll probably try to get at least one of the uh, Chieftains out in an unbox video, uh, and then guys give me suggestions on some of the others if you think that, uh, if you'd like, there's something we'd like to see. So uh, that said, uh, yeah, I think we're good. We'll keep, we'll keep this one short and to the point. So um, have a great week, and we'll see you next time on Cracking the Box.